Hi everyone, welcome to CSC Tutor. My name is Kevin, and today we'll be going through the solutions to the May June 2014 Mathematics Paper 2. In this video, I'm only going to go through question 1 of section 1. Question 1 involves those questions where we can use our calculator or our reasoning skills to quickly determine the answer. Now let's begin. So in question 1 it says using a calculator or otherwise determine the value of 5.25 divided by 0 0.015. Now I'm not going to spend that much time on these questions because we can simply use our calculator to solve the answer. I'm using the Casio FX 991ES calculator. So for question 1 if you put it in your calculator, the answer is 350. For question 2, the answer is 2.55 or 2 and 11 twentieths. Right? So depending on your calculator, you can get either of these values. They're both the same. The last one now is the only one that I'm going to spend some time on. So this last one it says 3.142 times 2.236 to the power of 2. Now I'm going to place a bracket around this last term because this 2 is raising everything in this bracket to the second power okay for some calculators if you put it in just as it is you will get the incorrect answer so you have to be careful here alright so the answer for this now is 15.709044848 zero three however they only want it to three significant figures so the one the five and the seven are significant therefore our final answer is one five point seven okay so that is it for question one a we move on now to question one b so we say now that concrete tiles are made using buckets of cement sand and gravel mixed in the ratio of 1 to 4 to 6. The first question, part 1, says how many buckets of gravel are needed for 4 buckets of cement? Before we start, let me just write down the information. So cement, cement, sand, gravel. So we have the ratio of one, four, six. So for every one, for every one bucket of cement, you need four buckets of sand and six buckets of gravel. Now question one says now if we have four buckets of cement, therefore I'm going to multiply this first term by four. I have to multiply each other term by four. Four buckets of cement should mean that I would have 4 times 4 buckets of sand and 6 times 4 buckets of gravel so therefore my answer for my answer for gravel is 24 and the question didn't ask for sand, but let's work it out anyway. The answer for sand would have been 16. But this is the correct answer that they're looking for for part 1. Alright, now for part 2 now. For part 2, the question says, if you have 20 buckets of sand, how many buckets of each of the following will be needed? So we are starting with sand. We have 20 buckets of sand and we want to know the other amounts. So starting with 4 to get to 20 you would have had to multiply by 5 so that would suggest that 
each of these terms, 1 and the 6, we should have to multiply by 5. So to see how many buckets of cement, we multiply that by 5. So you will have 5 buckets of cement and 6 times 5, you will have 30 buckets of gravel. So in total, your answer would be 5 and 30. Okay? Well, that wasn't too confusing. Let's move on. So, in the last question in part 1 now, we have a problem that deals with higher purchase. So higher purchase. Okay, so the cash price of a laptop is $1,299. It can be bought on higher purchase by making a deposit of $350 and 10 monthly payments of $120 each. What is the total higher purchase price of the laptop? So higher purchase involves your deposit plus your monthly payments. In this case, that would be 10 installments of $120. Okay, and your deposit here in the beginning was $350. So in total, our higher purchase value is $1,550. Okay, that answers part one. Part two now, how much is saved by buying something in cash, by buying the laptop in cash? So. Higher purchase is convenient, but you usually have to pay some extra money. So let's see how much you would have saved if you bought the laptop cash. It's equal to. So to work this out, I'm just going to simply subtract the original value from the higher purchase value which would be 1550 minus 1299 and that will give me 251 dollars that I would have saved if I bought the laptop on cash so here we have it question one solutions to question one and in my next video I'll go to question two for more videos like these, please visit me at cxctutor.org. Alright, so thank you for watching.